Hey guys, now today's video is going to be about my Laceous Niger colony. Now these were the first ants I ever got, quickly followed up by my second ants, but none the wiser. Okay, so they were housed in a Waitong nest, and I got nine ants. Now slowly but surely, she has laid, but they've never come to term. I think they might have dried out too quickly. I've tried increasing my hydration regimen on them, but nothing ever seems to work. Now I have a Las Alasius Flavius or Flavius colony, and in a setup just like the one I've put them in now, and they're doing fantastic. They're just raging out of control. She's got eggs uh, galore in there, and um, I don't want my last year's Malasius Niger Queen suffering. So. What I've done is I've made her a Caribbean Sands Outworld with a particularly nice uh, pink shell, which is real, um, and uh, hooked it up to a ant kit founding nest, which is the standard setup that I use for the Outworlds. And uh, this video is basically from the start of introducing her to her going for a wander. And then, as you see, she discovers the hole um, and gets herself in it and proceeds to have a good clean of a, of a gas stir, etc. And leaves the workers. Now, the workers have found her now, both of them have, but none of them have gone and got the eggs. So that should be the next thing on their mind. So... The idea of bringing them into this setup is A. I know they thrive in this type of setup. And B. I can keep a much closer eye on um, them, their progress, and if they're eating. Because I, you never see an ant eating in the other one. But in here, I'll be able to monitor them much closely, give them much more attention than uh, I have been currently doing and hopefully um, get her eggs, uh, her to lay more eggs and the eggs that she's got um, to term, take them round to term, turn them into workers basically, get this colony back on track before she's got no workers because we need to do it once she's got workers which is why I've chosen to do it now. So. I'll wrap up there and I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and I'll catch you next time.